Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Silver Sister, and welcome back to my new YouTube channel. Um, if you are new here, thank you for turning into my channel. And if you are a return subscriber, well then welcome back. So today I wanna to talk about the fact that this month I have a milestone birthday to celebrate and I will be turning the big 5-0. And I started thinking about the thought of that when I was 50, I thought it was so old. <laughs> And now that I'll be turning it this month, I don't feel very old. I actually very much feel like I'm in my prime of my life. And um, I started thinking about why is it that women attach all this negativity to these milestone birthdays? And what is it that has changed that has making me not attach this negativity? So I thought I would just do a little brain dub here with you this morning. Actually, I have to head to work today. Um, but I thought, you know what, I have a really busy week and I really wanted to pop on here. And another reason is just to celebrate that this channel did get monetized two days ago. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't be too impressed. I made a whole dollar in the last two days. But for me, um, and, and this is going to tie into turning 50, for me, I love having goals for myself and it's not necessarily a, um, a financial goal, but just goals that you can attain and something that you can aspire to. And I think that really started when I embraced my gray hair. So here is a picture of me with brunette hair for those that are the new subscribers here. So you can see this is quite a drastic change for me. Um, and it took me, so I've been on my gray hair grow out journey, which is pretty much fully transitioned now, by the way, I do have a lot of dark still in the back. But it has been um, two years and two months since I've been going gray. And that process of embracing that and just really not fighting the aging process and accepting it and actually finding beauty in it and finding beauty in things that aren't just on the surface level, finding beauty in, in your self-worth, your confidence, and the growth of all that has really impacted the way I feel about turning 50. And so I really highly recommend uh, when people tell me that they're thinking about embracing their grays, I get so excited for them because I know the growth of this journey is about so much more than hair. It's really something that happens from the inside out. And I think it's, it's the most beautiful part of the transformation. You might like my hair um, and I might like other Silver Sisters hair, but I see this glow up in people that you just can't, you can't put your finger on what part of it does it, but there is just this, this confidence and this empowerment and all of this. So anyways, I have now all of this stuff in me coming up to my 50th birthday. And so if you're a subscriber and you have hit one of those milestone birthdays, I'd really love to know how you felt about them. And, or if you've changed and you used to have a negative feeling and now you have a positive feeling, I would really love to know what you felt that shift was in you um, to share with some of our other viewers who are feeling a little bit nervous about these milestone birthdays. So for me, I think the thing that I'm thinking, I don't for one second dread it. I actually feel, and I'm sure I'm not in my prime, really, I guess if I'm turning 50, I probably don't have 50 more years left, <laughs> knock on my <laughs> countertop. Um, but I really much feel like I very much feel like I'm in the prime of my life. And I think I feel that way because I feel the most comfortable in my own skin and um, where I am in life than I have for a long time. And I think about the past two years and all the things that have happened that I would have thought you were crazy if you told me. And just maybe for me or maybe for you, it sounds like really silly, silly things, but um, one thing would be if somebody told me two years ago that I would have 45,000 followers on Instagram and be considered a social media influencer, I would have thought they were crazy. Even with this channel, if someone told me that I would have had a monetized YouTube channel where I connect with other women and talk about all things gray hair and maturing, I would have thought you were crazy. I would have thought that sounded cool, <laughs> but I would have thought you were crazy. Um, something so simple as I've had someone reach out to me um, who wants to do a, like a photo shoot with me, which is funny to me. Well, not funny. I think it sounds super cool. I love the project. Um, it's about pro aging, um, but I'm five foot two and I am not a model. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I'm the queen of selfies and I'm certainly not conceited. It's just, I love promoting gray hair. Um, but this is going to be something out of my comfort zone. I'm actually super excited about doing it when I'm 50 
because it just represents to me that 50 doesn't need to be the end of things. It can very much be the start of things. I'm sure there are many women who are starting new marriages, they're starting new businesses, they're starting new ventures in their life, or they're switching what they're doing, just completely switching direction in their life. And they're doing it um, so if I did these things in my 20s, I would have done them with this underlying insecurity. Now I'm doing all these things. I don't take myself too seriously. I see the joy in it. Um, I see that life actually can get a little mundane. So if there's something new and exciting that has been dropped into your plate, I say go for it, embrace it. Because... Um, you know, you, you can do the same thing Monday through Friday. Um, and if something new is coming, just do it. Like, what do you have to lose kind of attitude is how I'm thinking. So uh, for my 50th birthday, my husband is taking me to San Francisco. I've never been to San Francisco. We're Canadian, by the way. Um, and I love wine. I, I, I am a big fan. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to Napa Valley and we're doing the Sonoma wine tour. And then we're just going to explore um, San Francisco. I've never been. So if you guys have been and you have some advice for me, I actually see sort of mixed reviews. So I, whenever I go someplace, I check it out on YouTube. And um, it says it, it's kind of gone downhill a little bit. But my goal is to go to the, the wine country. I'm going to go do some wine tasting. I'd like to do a ferry um, ride. And then I really want to go to there's a chocolate factory there and um, I also have never ridden on a trolley so I would like to do that so if I could do all those things that would be a big win for me but the thought of turning 50 for me has been something that I feel like I'm really going to celebrate I'm looking forward to it and I have no dread about it at all and I understand that I'm aging I mean definitely I can tell you within um, the last five years, I can say like, I think I make a noise every time I get up from the floor. Like I'm like, Ugh, I can still get up off the floor. So that's good. I can see my body is aging and I can see those things are happening. Um, you know, too much information. I have yet to hit menopause. So I'm going to guess in the next five years, I'll probably be going through that. I do get the occasional nighttime um, hot flash, which, um, it's disturbing and wakes me up. I also, like I've shared with you guys, I've been struggling and I, I am a thin woman, woman, I know that, but I've been struggling losing some weight. I've been able to figure out how to lose about four pounds and keep them off, but it has been like so much effort compared to what it was in my 20s. So I understand that my body is changing and there was only so much, just like that. If I, if I was trying desperately, when I was trying desperately to, to hide my white hair, how much work was that? And so the same with all my body stuff, you know, like I, I have started to work out a little bit more, but really I've taken the pressure off myself regarding the cardio. I'm almost 50. I hate cardio. So now I just do 10 minutes of cardio and I don't use it as trying to improve my cardiovascular health. I view it as trying to warm up my body's muscles because what I've really been enjoying is um, the weights and a little bit of stretching with um, the tension bands. That's something I feel like I can be consistent about. Um, running is too hard on my knees. Um, so I do sound like I'm getting older. I do get that, but it doesn't. I just am going to accept where I am with all things and then celebrate what I can do as opposed to what I can't do. And you're going to see everything as a new opportunity because I'm going to do it with this fresh mindset of confidence and empowerment and exception, accepting of who I am. I think that is a huge one. When you accept who you are as a woman, um, all things are possible. I guess that's how I feel. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna be late for work if I don't get off this of my phone here, guys, but I really wanted to come on here. It was on my heart today. Um, so take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day. I am busy this week, so um, I probably won't be able to pop on until next week. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. You are the best. Um, let me know. I think someone had said to me that they wanted me to see some of my my like ideas for updos and stuff. So I will, um, I'll try to do that soon. I'm not really great actually at doing my hair um, half up, whatever, but I will show you my ponytails and my half up do's and that kind of stuff. Um, I think I shared with you my wedding updo, which was an amazing. I absolutely love this, but I did use my hair extensions from BF, um, BF hair, I think it was called. So there is the picture of that. I love that. So, um, Okay, that's it guys. Again, as usual, end of the video, I start to babble about nothing. So take care, have a wonderful day. And if you are hitting a milestone birthday, let me know how you're feeling about it. I really hope that you can get to a place where you celebrate that. 
um, just like I am. I'm excited. And actually, for the record, I get teased a lot because I tell my husband it's a birthday month. It's not a birthday. It's a birthday month. So I can be celebrated this whole month. <laughs> okay, guys, take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye.